so let me just walk you through this entire funnel um, that I just transferred over because I, I didn't I didn't just transfer over the pages, but I also transferred over the email list. I I transferred over uh, the form. I transferred over the sequence. So um, go to the top real quick. Hit that drop down where it says all categories and just go to shared. So what you'll want to start doing is you'll want to start putting everything in a sh in shared in, in everything in their own category. So um, let's do the five step blueprint. It's actually that one. So the five step blueprint book. That's the funnel. Um, that's the category, I should say. So hit the drop down again, all categories, and just go to the five step blueprint book. Oh, on that. Okay, so that's why you'll want to start categorizing everything, because as you come into Kartra mm -hmm. and you click on my pages mm -hmm. to the left, you're going to see every page for everything, and that's just going to get confusing. So, sure. so you'll want to start categorizing everything, um, so you can just hit the category and boom, see all those pages. Mm -hmm. So, so just to kind of give you a little rundown of of what you have here. Um, this is this is pretty much a full blown funnel. That opt in page. So just hover over that opt in and hit the I. Yeah, click on that. So this is just a simple opt in. So they oh. come here. There's the headline. There's the image of the book. There's a, a few bullet points. There's the button. There's a countdown clock. Um, and then and then there's a few testimonials. And you and this is just this is the blueprint. So you can just pop in and switch out a few words and. Shit, you can even keep the, the person's face there and just maybe rename it. I mean, ain't nobody tripping. Like, ain't nobody calling mm -hmm. you out. You know what I mean? Like, like let it let it be. Like, that's the template. So, so mm -hmm. when they opt in, they end up – so X this out. They opt in, and they end up going to the thank you page. So hover over the eyeball. Click on the thank you page. So they end up going right here to this page. So watch this if you're a real estate agent and want to capture, so, capture, capture local leads on social media. And so, again, with this – there's a video and, and what I'm doing in this video, here, here are the four points and, and I'm recording this for you. So don't worry about taking notes, but when they opt in and download that ebook, mm -hmm. they then come to this thank you page. This is the first opportunity to get that appointment. So again, rather than running cold ads to a cold market that don't even know you and all, and, and you're just going for the appointment right away, ain't nobody going to schedule with you like that. You got to give them something of value upfront for free first that's the free download right so so once i once i brought some some content on that facebook ad once i offered you by clicking learn more i offered you a free download to give you some free information a free pdf then then i got you now you're now you're opting in to download the ebook then you come to this page right here this is the thank you page so now it's on this page that i'm shooting for the appointment so mm -hmm. The four bullet points that I'm hitting on this on this in this video, that's a short video, four bullet points. Bullet point number one, I'm thanking them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for downloading my ebook, the the um the um the five step blueprint, five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. Mm -hmm. That, so I'm thanking them. Bullet point number one, I'm thanking them. And then and then I'm, maybe I'm telling them a little bit about what's in the book and what they can expect. Mm -hmm. Number two, I'm introducing myself. My name is David. I'm the author of the book. I've been servicing real estate agents for the for the past so many months or so many years. Here's why I'm so fired up, and here's why the opportunity has never been this great online for real estate agents. So number two, I'm simply introducing myself um, and just giving them a little background of where I'm coming from and why I'm so excited to help them. Number three... I'm telling them to check their email. I'm saying, hey, check your email because I just emailed you the link to your free PDF. So make sure you download it right away. I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoy writing it for you. So number three, I'm telling them to check their email. And then also I'm telling them to check their email for future emails. So so here's what I would say. I would say, hey, guys, and by the way, I just sent you your, your free PDF. So make sure you check the email. It's titled your ebook. So make sure you check spam in case it might land there. So I'm telling them right here in, in bullet point number three, I'm telling them exactly what the subject line is. So that way they can they can search for it, right? It's it's either in your inbox, maybe sometimes it might land in, in your spam. Um, so so I'm telling them the exact subject line, your free ebook. So make sure you check your email. This is bullet point number three. So make sure you check your email, check your inbox, check your spam, and also most importantly, make sure that you look out for my future emails because over the next few weeks, I'm going to be emailing you more content to educate you even more on what it takes to capture leads on social media. So check for my emails um, in the next couple of weeks, right? So number three, I'm telling them to check their email right away because I just got I just sent you your PDF, but also be on the lookout for future emails, right? So I'm telling that all I'm telling that to all of them. I'm telling that I'm telling all that to them in, in bullet point number three, and then bullet point number four, I'm saying hey. 
And by the way, guys, if you'd like to jump on a strategy call where I give you all my tips and tricks on how I consult my clients on capturing buyer and seller leads online, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. That's bullet point number four, schedule a call, smash the button below. Um, it'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. So here's what ends up happening. As you start running Facebook ads and you start building out your audiences and, and you start retargeting people who are watching your previous videos and you're retargeting people who are landing on your landing page but haven't opted in yet, once you really start getting this thing really popping, you're going to have X amount of people that, that land here and actually schedule a call. So let's call it, and, and it's a low percentage, but 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 it's still it's still freaking good. One two percent. If you just had if you had an extra two calls a day, bro, two out of ten people that scheduled a call with you from this page alone, that's good. Like you had an extra ten appointments a week, and you're closing two out of ten, for example, that's not bad at all. But here's what ends up happening: the other eight that that didn't schedule here, that's why the emails are so important. So X out of here, yeah. So, so now do this little X right there at the top. Yeah, right there. So, so here's what ends up happening. That's the opt-in page. That's the thank you page. And then I have step one, which is at the very, very bottom. <clears throat> step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. So all I'm doing, this is, this is just like a great way to, to, to write out that book. Either, either give people the top seven tips, give them top five reasons why. Or, 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 you know, make it, make it, make it a, a, a tip type of, 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 of ebook, like the top seven ways to capture leads online, or, or even it could go the other way around as well. The top seven myths on what you need to know to make sure you don't make these same mistakes <clears throat> when trying to build your business on social media, whatever, like it, it, having like a number always stands out to a person. And also it makes it very, very not also, but most importantly, it makes it easier for you to continue to educate. So now if I have a seven, a top seven tip sheet, now I can just educate you over the next freaking seven days on these seven tips, right? Like, so, so it makes it easy. So in my case, that's, that's what makes it easy for me is that I have this book, the top five, you know, the top, my, 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 my freaking five-step blueprint. So all I'm doing is educating people on these five steps and that's what becomes my email sequence. And that's what becomes my videos. So step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, those are all pages that go in the email as I send out future emails. And, and I just simply put a video on it. So what I'm doing in, in these, in this case with these five steps is I'm, I'm screen sharing and I'm just, and I'm just educating them on what that step is and, and I'm showing them. And that's the thing too, man, when, when it comes to this stuff, Show them how to do it. Show them what to do. Like, so exactly what your service it consists of, whatever the hell you plan on doing for these people, show them how to do it. Mm -hmm. Show them how to do it. And, and, and there's, there's a huge misconception about giving people all the information up front as if, as, if, as if we think that that person won't need you after. Dude, I'm telling you, it's, it's actually the opposite. If you actually, what, what I've done to get hundreds of clients, D, is I literally, sh I screen share and I show them what to do. At the end of that call, they're like, damn, David, that's freaking awesome. That makes so much damn sense. But guess what? I don't have the time to do it all. Can you just do it for me? That's what ends up happening, man. And that person, that's that true. prospect ends up freaking appreciating you so freaking much because you didn't spend the past 30 minutes pitching them. You actually spent the last 30 minutes teaching them how to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. See, I'm so gangster. I'm so freaking much of a closer, bro, where I knew that if I can just tell you how to do it, I already know at the end of the call, you ain't going to have time for it. So you're going to need to hire me. You see that? Yeah. Like I knew that from the gate, from, from, from the get, like I knew that I knew that was a different approach rather than me pitching you. I'm going to just show you how to do it. But because I'm so, so much of a closer, I already know you ain't going to have the time. So you're going to ask me how much it costs for me to freaking do it for you. I already knew that, right? So, so that's how you have to really, that's what you need to know. Uh, um, if you didn't know already, give them everything. Show them how to freaking run the damn ad. Show them how to set up a page. Show them how to do all that shit. And, and they're going to love you for showing them and not pitching them. And at the end of that call, they end up just wanting you to do it for them. 
that's 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 just that's been my experience you know that's been my experience and and so as as i send somebody through my email sequence i'm literally on screen share showing them how to freaking do it and then and, and then at the end of my video for example i'm saying hey and by the way watch go back to the other cartridge page now appointments on demand the other tab that bottom that bottom part of the page will, will have opened up by now so that other tab no 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 the tab at the top so look at the bottom so now look the whole bottom opened up Nice. See that? So that's what I just sent you. Now, this part up, up at the top, customize links, check your emails. Like you can edit all that stuff. And then the button, I have it going to my YouTube channel, but you can easily edit that button. Click here to schedule our free strategy call. Mm -hmm. And that's what I would have on every email, every page for every email. And, and I, would, I would have that button going straight to my calendar and my whole call to action video would be, hey man, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Right. So, 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 this, so you can delay this in quarter? Yeah, bro, oh. hell yeah, hell yeah. Huh. Because see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like if that was a seven minute video, I don't need them seeing all that shit at the bottom mm -hmm. 10 seconds in. Mm -hmm. Like I need your attention. Pay attention to the damn video. You know what I mean? So, oh. so, so I don't want to show you anything below that video until, until the time is right. And so you'll, you'll be able to gauge it. However, you know what I mean? Like based on how long that video is, if it's a three minute video, delay it for two minutes, you know what I mean? Or, or maybe let's say, let's say that's a, that's a, that's a two minute video and it ain't, it ain't until, it ain't until minute, it ain't until, it ain't until one minute and 45 seconds when you're saying, Hey guys. And by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call, Click the button below. See, maybe, maybe, maybe time it that way. You know, yeah. open it up at one forty-five. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, so <laughs> that's you can always change that delay. You know what I mean? But that's that's just how 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 I've I've learned and and how I've done it. Um, so that way you keep their attention. You know, full blown. Now this video right here, it can either be on YouTube or it could be on Vimeo or it could be on Wistia or it could be on on Kartra. What I would recommend for you, if you're not building a YouTube channel, I would recommend just putting that video, hosting it on Kartra. Important. So you can just oh. upload that video on Kartra and then you can, you can, you can, you can park it on any page. All right. So the video for the thank you page, the video in these emails. And again, this is just freaking next level shit, bro. Like if you don't want to put yourself out on video on these emails, you don't got to, but I'm just saying like you're, you're running Facebook ads to get appointments. So your best, best chance is that I see D and, 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 and I tell people all the time, man, it has absolutely zero. It has absolutely negative zero. It has, it has zero, um, 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 to do with what a person looks like, what they sound like, like it has zero, it, ha it has nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact that the way our human brain works psych psychologically is the fact that if I see another human being, they exist. If I see another human being, they're real. But a lot of people on social media, they try to build a business, bro, and they try to hide behind a logo or they try to hide behind the brand and, and they just want voice. And, and it's just, you can do it that way. It's just going to take you longer. Mm -hmm. It's just going to take you longer. The faster that person can, can relate to you right away, the faster that person is going to believe you they're going to think that they know you and they're going to feel like they trust you mm -hmm. the faster they can see you. And, and, and you're a perfect example, bro. You found me from YouTube because of freaking video. Mm -hmm. I've said this a million times, man. I have a million clients that, at this, at this point, just from YouTube alone. And I tell them all the time, man, you found me, you came with me, you get, you gave me your damn credit card all because you see me on a few videos and psychologically that triggered something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so same thing with you, man. If, if these, if these leads, if your prospects can start seeing you on video and you're educating them and you're sharing your screen and showing them how to do it, I'm telling you, man, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to want to do business with you. Mm -hmm. That's just the way it works, man. So go back to Karcher real quick. The other, um, the other tab to the left. Yeah. Go to this one. So, so those are all the, the pages, step five, step four, step three, step two. Um, those are all the pages in that email sequence. So if you click on my communications, so you got all the pages and then you got, yeah. if you click on my communications, there should be a couple list, um, click on list. 
I think I might have sent over yeah two lists. So you got the you got the um you got you got the leads real estate appointment leads and then you got the appointments and then you got the the book customers. So anyone who downloads the book would land on that list and then you know anyone who schedules you know goes on that list. And then okay. if you hover over communications at the top you can hit sequences and then that's your email autoresponder. Mm -hmm. So this right here, the five step blueprint book, you can, you can obviously edit the title. So you, you see how you put that D right there. So you yeah. can always edit and, and change the complete name of that, of that title. Um, but when you hit edit, so go ahead and hit edit, hit the pencil. Yeah. Hit the pencil. So this is what brings you into, um, go ahead and hit edit the green one. And then you'll be, you'll change out that name and change out the public description to just put your, your name or your, the name of your book or whatever, whatever it is. So in here, hmm. go to, um, this is like a simple tutorial and, and you could watch this later or go through this later, but I'll just give you a crash course right now. So just keep hitting the next button, hit, hit the um, button at the bottom, just go start. And then just hit, keep hitting next, 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 next. Like just scroll down. Yeah. You'll have to hit it a few times. This is just giving you everything that's that's inside. But yeah, watch that. Go to that later for sure, so you can you can know um, what's over here. But really, everything is on the left. So so the send email. Don't click on it. Don't click on it. But but that send email. That's how you simply all you do is click on it and drag. Don't do it right now. Don't do it right now. All you do is click, hold it down, and drag it to the right. And you could just put it towards the bottom, for example. So scroll down. You got one, two, three, four, five, um, six, and then seven open house, eight listing funnel, nine seller guide funnel. Um, and if I wanted to put a 10th email, I would just, I would just hit that line. So hover over that arrow line from, from, um, seller guide to automation, that line in between from uh, right there. So I would just X that out. Don't do it right now. Don't do it right now, but I would just hit that red X. And then I would move automation, the block, the square. I would drag it a little down to give me some room. And then I would go to the left, send email, and I would just put it right between. And that mm. could be email number 10. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's nice. So, so what I'm doing here is I have nine emails. Or again, man, I'm just, I'm just what I do is I recommend Kartra to, the, to, to, to my clients. That's how I have a bunch of people on Kartra. Um, so that helps me make a little bit of money on, on a monthly basis on, on, on everyone's account. You know what I mean? So, so all I've done is I simply have, have educated these real estate agents on what it takes to run Facebook ads and what it takes to capture leads using Kartra. So for example, in these three emails, open house, listing funnel, seller guide, all I'm doing again, man, is, sh is, is, is sharing my screen and walking them through what a Facebook ad looks like and what it looks like when people click on learn more. So I, I might go to some other different, um, you know, um, um, ads and, and click on them and, and give people an example, give them like a, like a, like a screen share of what happens when people click on learn more. And then I'll have a bunch of funnels that are already done. Mm -hmm. That's what I have as well, which I can easily transfer to your account. I have a seller guide funnel. I have a listing funnel. I have an open house funnel. So what I'm doing is I'm showing them in video on screen share. I'm saying, hey, here's a funnel for a listing that I already put together. So let me show you how powerful and how simple this can be if you start running Facebook ads to your local area for this listing. People click on it. They go to this landing page. They opt in. You just captured a lead. So I'm showing them how to do all that. I'm sharing my screen. And then I'm saying, hey, and by the way, guys, Again, if you want to schedule a call, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar. But here's what I'm also going to tell you is the fact that this funnel I already have done for you. So if you want to activate a 14-day trial for Kartra, this is the landing page software that I use. Activate a 14-day trial, and you can transfer this funnel to your account right away for free on me. Right? right? So, so I'm educating them on what it takes to, 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 to capture these leads I'm saying, hey, if you want to learn Facebook ads or social media marketing, click the link to schedule the call. Or if you just want this listing funnel that I've already built for you, activate a 14-day trial and put this code in. 
So I'm trying to hit them on on a couple of different angles, right? I'm 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 going for that appointment, and or I'm just giving them the funnel. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm giving them a seller guide funnel. I'm giving them an open house funnel. You know, so so that's why I tell people all the time when you're coming in, into this type of a business. You, you now want to service a type of client. You now want to do some social media marketing services for a certain type of client. Mm-hmm. I always tell people the front end is traffic. Like you have to be running Facebook ads for a client or for yourself. You have to be running, running ads, Facebook ad, Instagram ad, YouTube ad. There has to be some type of, of ad because that's how the traffic is coming in. It's not going to just be posted on your social media page at all. It ain't going to happen that way at all. So, so the, the top of the funnel is that ad. So, so maybe, maybe I'm teaching people what it takes to run ads. And then the back of the funnel is the landing page. So if we're going to run an ad and that person clicks, they got to go to a landing page. Here's the landing page. And, and so when you can focus on one specific niche and you got yours down, real estate agents, so that's perfect. So now that we know that, what you want to do now is go out there and create a handful of funnels for them. Right. And, 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 and thank God you and I connected because I'm going to save you an arm and a leg and I'm going to save you a bunch of time on having to do that. I'm going to just give you my damn funnels, listing, open house. I got them all. I'm going to just transfer them to you right now. So you got you got lucky in that sense. But if you didn't get lucky in that sense and have someone have a hookup through me, then anybody, 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 anybody focus on one niche and then go out there and go create a bunch of funnels for that one niche, because as you go in. As you go and close that client, just from the beginning, just 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 off the top, and and you're now, you know, closing that that new client. This is a great way to entice them and add more value to your overall service. The fact that you are also giving them three free funnels. Yeah. That right there justifies what you're asking for from them up front to begin with. Right? Does that mm-hmm. make sense? Yeah. 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 So, so not only was I, was I already charging them to do Facebook ads and social media marketing services, whatever that may be, whatever I may have charged them, but I said, Hey man, and by the way, if you get started with me right now, I'm going to transfer these funnels to you right now. And they're like, Holy shit, you got all of them done already. I'm like, yeah, all you got to do is go edit them, change out the color of the button, change out the image, change out the headline, but the blueprint is already there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And they're like, damn, okay, well shit, here's my credit card. So, so that's just a way to hit them even more and, 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 and give, give more value and, and really justify the cost from the beginning, mm-hmm. you know? So, so those two things hand in hand, that's why what I would do if I were you, man, is I would master Facebook ads and I would master Kartra. Like those two platforms alone, bro, that's all you need. That's all you need for your business, but that's all you need for other businesses. That's all any business needs is to run traffic to a damn landing page once I capture that lead, put them in an email sequence. That's it. That's it. That's freaking online marketing. That's it. So with you now having an agency and wanting to do this for real estate agents, for example, I would for sure, if I were you, because it's what I do, I would for sure add this to your to your to your to your to your list of services. Right, right. Yeah, I'm gonna not right. only run ads for you. I'm, I'm not only going to do social media services for you, but what I'm also going to do, John, is I'm going to freaking manage your landing pages and your email automation. Mm-hmm. I got that part handled for you as well. Right. So, so if you did that part and then, and then what you'll do is you'll sign up to be a Kartra affiliate and then you'll just make all these clients sign up under you. Mm-hmm. So, so, so then you start to get this little, you know, a little monthly residual from everybody's account. You know, and in my, my, my residual, I mean, shit, man, it ain't, it ain't a whole lot. It ain't a whole, whole lot, but it's like, watch, let me, let me share my screen real quick. Stop share. I think last, last, um, last one, which was just a, like a, like a couple weeks ago, it's paid out every 15th. So look, man, last 15th, you know, February 17th, it was paid on the 17th, an extra G bro. Just by having a handful of clients on Kartra, that money comes every month. So, so that's why now I, I, I'm at that, at that amount just by having a handful of clients using Kartra through my affiliate link. 
Mm-hmm. And so that's why I started my, 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 uh, my weekly coaching calls, because what I would do is spend a lot of time one-on-one, but now I'm doing Monday and Wednesday because now, now I want everybody to get on a group call with me and I want to make sure that that income continues to grow. Even if it stayed at a G a month, bro. Oh. It's like, you tell me that ain't paying rent out there in Missouri. <laughs> right. Just that alone. You know what I mean? So, so that, that ain't bad at all. Just to, just to, it, just to help people, you know, become successful with Kartra, you know? So, so, um, so over here, look over here in, in my, um, let me go to my pages. And then I, again, once you click on my pages, depend on what different projects you got going on, you're going to see my pages and you're going to see all these damn pages, all the, and you're going to be like, shit, where's that one page I'm looking for? You know what I mean? So that's why it's so important to put everything in a category. category. Um, then you can get to it quick. So here's my shared funnels. So that's why when you could focus on one niche, you can go out there and create a bunch of funnels for that one niche and then give it to them as an incentive as you onboard them. You know, um, so I got, I got, I got listing ones. I got, I got open house ones. Like here's an open house one, yeah. you know, simple open house landing page. But what makes it a full funnel is the fact that I got the thank you page with it. I got all the email pages with it. I got the email list. I got the email sequence. So it's a, it's a complete funnel that, that just saves that person, uh, you know, saves them a lot of time. Here's a listing. Mm-hmm. So you're running Facebook ads to a listing for your listing. Okay, cool. They click, learn more. They come straight to this one page. And you could change out everything. You can change out the yellow. You can change out the image in the background. You can change out the headline, whatever. But the blueprint, the blueprint's right there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, and then and then a buyer's list. So, you you know, you got a list that you're looking for buyers. Okay, cool. Run a Facebook ad. Take them straight to a page like that. You know, welcome to the Missouri homes under, under 500K. Rush me the list ASAP. You know, looking for, you know, leads on, on people looking to buy. You know, so... So again, these are a bunch of funnels that I, that I have, and it's really not a lot, like especially with real estate. You need a, a listing funnel, an open house funnel, a seller guide funnel, a buyer guide funnel, a buyer list funnel, five of them. Mm-hmm. That's it. That you'll just always want to have on deck to give to a new client. You feel me? Yeah. So let me let me stop, share, go back to yours real quick so I can I can walk you through the rest of what's in there. So it's um it's this it's the sequence which that that's what that was is that th- that's this sequence so all you have to do is hit the hit the hit the dots and then you can edit and go into that one email and you can edit that email so let's yeah open house go ahead and edit, edit this one and what we'll need to do real quick is we'll need to update your email as well inside of Kartra because by default actually you already did you already did that's the that's the email right there that you that right you, you'll be using perfect yeah okay so so right here in the email, this is your drip. This is your email auto autoresponder, your sequence, whatever the hell you want to call it. These are the email automations, right? So that delay, wait three days. You can change it to whatever you want. I could wait one day. I could wait one hour and send the damn next one out. It's up to you. You can you can you can wait as long as as long as you want. Maybe send one every other day. Um, I have some sequences where I send one out every three days. I have some where I send one out every five days. I have some that I send out one every day. So. It's just all up to you on what you want to do with that one. And then um, the, um, the, the day and time, I leave that as is. It'll go out whatever day. It, it's based on whenever they opt in. So the, if they opt in on a Wednesday at 3 p.m., three days later, that next one's going out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I leave the day and time. The communication open house funnel, that's just internally. That's just what you're, what you're naming the email. But mm-hmm. you can always name it the communication and the, and the subject line of the email content. So right there, email content, how to capture open house leads. I tend to name those the same. This one's named a little different. You got open house funnel on the communication, and then you have how to capture open house leads. So I tend to always name those the same, how to capture, whatever I'm, whatever I'm titling the, the subject line of the email is normally what I name this right here, the communication, the broadcast, I'll name it the same. Um, that way, when I look at it from this view, I can automatically know what email that was. I don't have to click on it. I don't have to go into the damn email. I could just view it from the layout and know what email that was. And that's how to capture open house leads. So the recipients, anyone reaching this step and then go ahead and click on, click on, you know, what? scroll up real quick, scroll up and X out of this real quick. So hit close. It all starts. And then we'll come back to that, but go to the very, very top. It all starts with a starting rule. 
So the starting rule, scroll up, the starting rule is hover over that and click on edit. So this is the starting rule. This is where we're telling the system, anyone who subscribes to the five step blueprint book customer list, anyone who subscribes to that list, send them these future emails. Mm -hmm. I can base that off of a list. I can base that on the opt-in form. Anyone who opts into this form, send them these next emails. I could base it on a tag. I can base it on an order, on a, on a sequence, on a page visit. I normally go with list. Anyone who opts into this list, send them th these future emails. So, so it's really just one. You don't need multiple. You can just use that one and that's it. So hit save. So this is based on the list and, and that's what you should be going off of. That's, that's fine right there. And then, and that's, that's what's going to read. That's what's going to send one day later. Here's step one of five. Mm -hmm. One day later, step two of five. One day later, step three of five. So in this case, I'm sending one out every every day. I'm sending out I'm sending out steps one through five, but it's three days later when I'm sending. Did you implement the five steps? Mm -hmm. Three days later, how to capture open house leads. You know what I mean. So so again, this is where the other eight out of ten appointments will come from. That's why what I would do if I were you, I wouldn't just have nine emails right there. I'd have freaking 99. Mm -hmm. Like I would, this right here, I tell people all the time, your email sequence is a, is a, is a living, breathing freaking organism. Like this thing right here shouldn't end. Like, like, like you should always want to stay on top of that person's mind, that lead. You should always be nurturing that lead. You should always stay top of mind. You should, you should, you should, you should always be nurturing that list. The only time that person is not going to get your email, there's three, three ways this person ain't going to get your email no more. Number one, if they schedule an appointment, which we can set up as an automation. If a person schedules an appointment and they land on the appointment list, that's why we have a specific list for those who scheduled an appointment. We'll set up an automation right now. After we're done with this part, we'll set up an, an automation. Anyone who schedules an appointment, unsubscribe them from this sequence. Right. Mm -hmm. So number one, you'll stop receiving these emails if you schedule an appointment. Mm -hmm. Second way you'll stop receiving these emails is if you unsubscribe. Third way is if you freaking pass. Right. Like other than those three ways, you're going to keep getting emails. I'm going to keep educating you. I'm going to keep communicating with you. I'm going to stay top of mind. And, 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 and I'm going to go a step further and put myself out on video because ain't nobody doing that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So again, it's all about nurturing this list to get them to schedule a call. Now, now again, you don't have to put out a video on every damn email. You don't have to, but, but those pages, all you would do is take that page link and put it in the email. Hey, 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 Dominic. And by the way, I just put an email. I just, I just put together a, a video on step three or five click here to watch it now. And then, and then they click and they go to that page. So in my pages, that's why you have all those other pages they click that word in an email, for example, and it takes them to that page. So you don't have to use those pages in the email. You don't have to put yourself on video, but that's just what's going to make you stand out. Right. And, and, and again, it's all about the appointment. That's what this is all about is getting that person to like me to schedule an appointment, mm -hmm. you know? So, so I would, I would keep it going that sequence. I would keep that sequence going if I were you. So, um, Hit, hit the three dots. Let's go into edit real quick. Just do one of five real quick. I'll just show you this real quick. Not, not that one. The three dots at the bottom. Hit cancel. So just go to step one of five. Hit those three dots and then go into edit and then scroll down and go to email content. This is the actual email. So this is how you go in and edit the email. So email content, just hit that pencil right there. Yeah, that one. And then so here's, here's the email. So look, look how I have it set up. Everything you have, everything you see in blue, that's taking them to a page. Mm -hmm. So, so, hey, Dominic, hope you're well. I'm crushing it today in chapter four of the five step blueprint. I'm sharing. So, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm taking them step by step on what the hell they downloaded. Mm -hmm. That's all this is, is I just keep educating them on what they downloaded. Um, and then, and then click here to see for yourself. And then, boom, that takes them to my page. Um, I truly believe it's super important when it comes to your social media branding. And that's why it's step one. Boom, that's a link that, that, that goes straight to a page. And watch the video here. 
you know, so that that right there is is linking them to the page that you have. Step one of five. That's the page. So I'll just you know change it up if I were you. You could change out the color. You can change out that image. I link the image. So so watch. Hover over the image. Don't click on the image. Just hover over the image. Hit the pink pencil to the top left of the image. And then and then right in here you'll see that link. So copy that URL. Copy that. And then open it up in a new tab. That's page one of five, or or that's that's step one of five. But that's the page that you have. So so um, that takes them straight here, where now I'm telling them what's step one. And it's only on first time visit. So it's only on first time visit. You're opening up this page on your end for the first time. So that's what delays the bottom. Okay. But if but if you open it up a second time, the bottom part will be open. Hmm. So I'm only delaying it for the first time they're here. Like I'm not delaying it every time they go back to the damn page, yeah. you know, so I, I'll delay it the first time and, and, but that's how it is. So they click on the words, they're hyperlinked. They click on my image. It's, it's, it's hyperlinked. And, and, and all I'm trying to do is take them over here where they smash that button and schedule the call, you know? So, so this is, it, it's all about feeding the top of the funnel and that's your ad, getting people to that, to download as, as, that book as, ma as many times as possible. And then just staying and nurturing that list on the back end. So this email sequence is that back, that is that back end. Okay. So, so hit Karcher real quick, go back to the, to the Karcher tab to the left. Okay. So, so again, you can always edit this, this email um, at the top, which you'll want to, you know, you'll definitely want to edit and, but that's, that's how you do it. You just hit the pink pencil and you'll be able to go in and, and, and write out whatever you want. But, but also click on um, design templates to the left design templates over here, you got full templates. So if you click on full templates, Karcher already has a bunch of different templates that you can use. So, so if anything, you can scroll down and you can see a bunch of different templates that, that you can work off of. So um, yeah, just scroll down. There's a bunch. So to, to make it easy, you can just work off of any of these templates or you can build your own and, and you don't even need to keep everything that's there. I can click, drag it over and I can delete everything and may, maybe only use the damn headline. Like you can, it's all preference. So whatever the hell you want, like I can, I can work around it. Um, but, but a template is so important because you'll want to use the same template over and over and over. So once you find your template or build your own template, you'll just save it. And then you can just use it over and over and over for every email. That's why like whenever you get emails from me, they're all the same, very basic, but what will stay the same is, is there's an image at the bottom and it's not always the same image, but there'll be an image at the bottom of my emails and then my social media links. But it's a template because I don't want to have to do that every email. Right. Like I don't want to have to set up those social media links at the bottom on every email. I'll just save a template and then and then just just use the same one and just rewrite whatever that needs to be re re rewritten. Hyperlink a different page if needed. Step two, step three, like hyperlink a different you know word. But but. I'll use the same template. And that goes a long way for branding as well. Like when people start receiving your emails, like let that shit look the same. You know what I mean? Like keep the consistency in the way, in the aesthetics. It's it, that, that the paying attention to detail in the emails is very important. And then also keeping that same, that same approach when it comes to your pages, like don't send me the old landing page and there's a blue button. And then when I, when I opt in and I go to the thank you page, the button to schedule a call is yellow. Mm -hmm. Like keep it, keep it consistent. Like little things like that go a long way as well on the, on the landing pages. And then, and then, and then maybe on the landing page is the same footer. Watch. Mm -hmm. So if you go to like, click on appointments on demand, the tab, the tab at the top appointments on demand, the, the other page, my page at the top. Yeah, so scroll to the very, very bottom. So on all my pages, on all my pages, on all my pages, that bottom footer looks the same. So I got my social media icons right there at the bottom. I got my links at the bottom. So scroll down, the privacy policy, the terms of use, the disclaimer, the landing pages, all that should stay the same. My copyrights, little things like that. So if you go to any one of my pages, you'll see that at the bottom. Right. Right. So 
the good thing about all this stuff is that you can save it all. So in the email, you can save the template. On these pages, as we start to build out pages, we can save sections of the page. Mm -hmm. So and, and so when I go open up a new page, I can just drag over this entire footer that I already linked up and saved. So it just saves me a ton of time on having to create that every page that I create. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just use the same template over and over and over. So go back to um, Karcher real quick to the left. Yeah. And then so now, now, so the head, the subject line, and then also what I use a lot is, as you can see there in the subject line and addressing them, I'm always using their first name. Mm -hmm. So if you click on dynamic variables to the left, dynamic variables, there's their first name. So all I do is copy that and then I just paste it in. So their first name, and I'll just put that in everywhere, anywhere, the first name at the top. So if I just copy that first name, go ahead and copy it. Yeah, right there in the parentheses, copy the whole thing, just copy it, highlight it. Yeah, just hop, highlight the whole thing. There you go, first name, perfect. So just copy that. And then you could just bring that over to the right, hit the pencil, the pink, the pink one, and then just, just paste it in wherever. Just mm -hmm. if you're on a PC, it's control V. So you, you actually got to hit control V. There you go. Okay. So I could put their name every anywhere and everywhere, which is what I do. Like you can see here, I've already put it in the subject line. I put their first name right there and hey, 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 Dominic. And then I also put their first name down below on the third paragraph, Dominic. Even if you think you're a super master black belt social, right? So I'm, I'm using their name multiple times in the damn email. I don't yeah. want to overdo it, but at the same time, people love hearing their damn first name. Mm -hmm. So I'll use that a lot. And then, and let's say, watch, so scroll down. Let's just say this is the template that you rock with, right? You can change it up. You can use whatever, but, but let me just show you how to save it real quick. So go to the very, very bottom. Once you get your template, whatever you want to use, the image, the, the bottom footer, the social media icons, once you link everything, watch, hover over the F, just hover over it, and then you'll see the little pencil. Click that pink one. So that's where you'll just link your Instagram URL right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so once you link everything, then you'll come and save it. And all you do is hit save as template. So click on right, right there at the bottom, save as template. And then boom, now it's saved. And now as you go on to your next email, you're going to just click and drag it over. So as this saves, let me show you where it's at. So X this out. So now that template is going to be right over here. Click on dynamic variables, hit the drop down, dynamic variables, and then click on design templates. So they're right there, my templates, the heart, hit that heart. So now you got this template right here. So if you click, click it and hold down the click, drag it over and then you'll be able to drop it you got to click hold it down hold the click and then drop your block drop it right there right where it says drop your block so boom that whole block just dropped nice. keep scrolling down keep scrolling down because you got the first original one right below it mm -hmm. so and then now you can just so let's say you want to you want to just use part of the damn temp template so now you can just hover over anything and you can you can exit out. So so the blue you got the blue you got the pink. The blue is everything around it. Mm -hmm. The whole damn thing. Go ahead and delete it. Hit the X. Hit the X. So I can keep. I can just remove stuff. I can I can even build my own. So mm -hmm. I can um, if I go to headline to the left, I got headline. I got text. I got I got an image spot. So just hit anything. Hit 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 headline. Or even text. Whatever. Like. The same thing. All I got to do is click on it, open it up, click, drag it over, and it'll tell me where I can drop it. It'll tell me where, the, where wherever there's a block or drop your block. Yeah. You, so you always want to drop it right where it says drop your block. Mm -hmm. So I can I can do that. I can drop the block, and I could just build out a damn email. All right. You know. So so that right there, and then again, you know, I can save it. I can say it. So scroll down. You got images. You got images. I can I can take a I could take an image slot and just and just there's different images. So I can just click and drag it over, and then and then put you know some other random image. So I can just drop it and just and just build it out, man. Right. Yeah. So so that's that's the email. 
um, sequence. So go to the very, very top real quick and then click on, um, click on edit. And then, and then close. So that that's it for that, man. That's it for the for the email sequence. Um, and again, man, this is I, I would say, you know, knock out like like spend maybe spend maybe like two hours and, and get these emails written or edited. And then and then after that, it's always just having a good handful up front. Like if you could just have like five up front done, then then you can go launch your ads. Like that's what I would do if I were you first. Like, like because again, when someone downloads that book right away, we can run an ad right now and have someone download that book by noon or by, by let's just say by 4 p.m. These emails are going to are active and, and this is where the back end is. So if we don't have these damn emails written out, you know what I mean? Like we're kind of screwed. Mm -hmm. So spending some time right here and writing out a handful of emails, you don't got to do 19 of them right now, but at least having a handful done is what you want to do before you launch ads. Okay. And then, and then after that, then I always say, Put a, put a little bit of time a week aside, maybe, maybe one hour a week, maybe one hour a week and add to the email list, add to the sequence. So if I'm at nine, I'm going to make it a goal to spend one hour a week and I'm going to get that nine to 13. Then I'm going to come back next week. I'm going to spend one hour and I'm going to get, I'm going to get the 13 to freaking 17. Right. And I'm going to just spend an hour a week, man, adding a few more to the bottom of that list. That's how you end up with freaking 37 emails eventually, and you only spend about an hour a week doing it. Right. Now, as one last thing about these emails, and then we'll look at the next part, but what you put in these emails, you want them to be evergreen. You don't want them to be date sensitive. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because don't, don't send me email number 29, and you're talking about some random stuff that happened three years ago. Right. You know what I mean? So you always want to make sure that that the content or whatever the hell you're talking about, there's no date, there's no expiration date on what you're saying, and and we're not, and we're not talking about some 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 random current event that that just happened because by the time that person gets that email, 19 emails later, that current event ain't current no more. Right. You know what I mean? So so keeping the content there, um, keeping it relevant and keeping it evergreen. Is, is, is important in an email sequence. Yep. Okay. So, um, so let's hit done and exit. You always want to hit done and exit. Don't ever let it sit like this, especially mm -hmm. if you just wrote out a bunch of emails, always hit done and exit. And that's what saves it. Okay. Okay. So, so communications, you got the list, you got the sequence. Let's go automations real quick. Let's set up a quick automation, hit automations right there at the top automations. So what we're going to do is let's set up an automation. These, this right here, bro, I can't, I can't express, I can't, I can't stress how powerful this is and how simple this is, how effective this is. This is one huge reason why, bro, I love Kartra. One huge reason why, one huge reason why is the automations. If this happens, then put them over there. If they open this email, send them this email. If they don't watch this video, don't send them this email. If they buy this product, send them on this, put them on this list. If they, if they don't buy the product, unsubscribe them from the list. Mm -hmm. like automations, bro. Like that's so freaking important. Cause I don't want to micromanage none of this shit, mm -hmm. right? I, I need automation in my life. So, so this just makes it a, makes it super easy because the automations really is based on your list. That's what I mean. What I mainly use it for all. I'll show you all my automations. I'll, in fact, let me just show you all of them. Let me show you all of them. Cause it's going to be easier to, to, to explain this. Let me show you my automations. You look, you see my screen. Yeah. Okay. So right here at the top communications, and then automations. So here, here are my automations. Um, if a lead subscribes, if they become a client and they land on that list, clients, then assign the tag and subscribe them to this sequence, okay? If the lead fills out this form, FB Ads cheat sheet, subscribe them to this list and this sequence and assign this tag. And then it goes the other way around as well. If they become a client, like you actually became a Facebook ad client. Mm -hmm. So the moment I put you on this list, I, uns I unsubscribed you from any future email from a list or from a sequence. I unsubscribed you. So I automatically unsubscribed you from those lists, from the list and from the sequence. Okay. 
Um, if they subscribe to the list of appointments, assign that tag. If they subscribe to this Karcher affiliates list, assign that tag. So if this happens, then do that. That's what automations are. Mm -hmm. Super, super basic and super important. If the lead fills out this form and, 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 and downloads the book, subscribe them to this list and assign this tag. Okay. So, so now as the tags, the reason why the tags are so important because the tags, I can, I can come over here and send out a broadcast, which is what you'll do every now and then. A broadcast is a one-off e email. So if, if all of a sudden I, I wake up and some, some news hit, hit, hits the headlines and, and I want to get it to my, to my list, but I only want to send it to people who have a tag, that's when, when that comes in handy. So if I send out a broadcast, I'll only send it to people who have the tag appointments. Or if I go send out a one-off email, I'll send it to everybody on my list except for those who have a tag. Okay. Right? So that's how you can kind of segment and, 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 and um, separate people from, from seeing emails based on, on if they have a tag or not. So, so tags, automations, you'll learn, you'll learn all that as, as we go. So let me, mm -hmm. let me sh stop share real quick and, and go ahead and share your screen real quick. Okay. So let's set up an automation. Hit that, hit that box real quick. Okay, so if hit the select, yep, the drop down. If lead subscribes to list, let's choose the list. Let's go appointment list. So if the lead subscribes to appointment list, no, leave that, leave that one, but choose the list. So it's the appointment leads, real estate appointment leads. So if the if the lead subscribes to that list, go ahead and click on add, then hit the select then unsubscribe them from the book list. So the book customers. So unsubscribe them from that list, the, the book customers. Or you can also go ahead and click on and, or you, or you can go and or, but this is and, oh. and unsubscribe them. So yeah, just leave the and, hit the select, down, hit the select. This one? No, down, down, this, the bottom one. So, and unsubscribe them from sequence. So you can go ahead and, and scroll down. Unsubscribe from sequence. Mm. Unsubscribe from sequence, which would be the book one. So hit right. the select sequence and then, and then um, the book. So if lead subscribes to the appointment leads list, then unsubscribe them from the book customer list and unsubscribe them from the book um, sequence. Right, right. So little things like that, man. Automations, that way you can keep everyone, you know, freaking on track of, of information they need to be getting. Don't send someone a random email that they shouldn't have got, you know what I mean? So hit save, that's that's an automation. And, and that you can go, go way more into detail with automations, but you'll learn all that as you go. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so we got the list under my communications. We got the sequence under my communications. We have the automations under my communications and we have the broadcast. The broadcast is just whenever you want to send a random email, you're just filling some type of way. You got something on your mind and you just want to promote something real quick or whatever. That's a broadcast email. And then you got my pages to the left. You got my pages. Um, and then, and then also you got my form, which is the form that goes on the opt-in page. Mm -hmm. So if you click on my forms, this is the form that goes on the opt-in page. You can, um, and, and then also you got a form. Yeah, that's the client scheduling. Actually, you don't need that one. Client scheduling, you don't need that one because the calendar doesn't need a form anymore. So delete that one. Um, and then all you have is that is that form right there for the opt-in. That's the book. So, so you can always rename that for sure, rename that. Um, but that's the form that sits on the opt-in page. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then, and then you got, um, and then you got, you got, I don't think there's anything in my videos, but right there in my videos to the left, that's where you'll upload your video. So any video, a video for the thank you page, a video for any page, this is where you'll want to upload your videos right here. Just click the green square to the right, 
upload the video from your computer and that's it. And then it, it sits inside of Kartra. It's hosted on Kartra. And then you could put that video wherever you want on any page. And then, and then the last one is my calendars. So that my calendars to the left, um, you'll want to set up this calendar if you haven't already. And what I do is I go with the, um, hit the green one, the green square. I go with consultant model. So that top one, that's kind of the one you'll go with as well. There's a gym model, there's a re recurrent class model, but consultant model is, is pretty much for you and I taking, you know, those of us that are taking appointments. But um, this right here is very, very simple as well, but you'll want to use this calendar for everything, man. Like I use my calendar for everything, um, for every appointment, for every appointment. Ain't nobody getting on a call with me unless they go through my car truck calendar. Um, two main reasons, two, two main reasons. Reason number one is so I can put you on a, on a list. I need your email. I need you on a list. You're on my appointment list. I, I, I may want to email you in the future. Um, you're on that list. And then again, I have an automation set up where once they become a client, I unsubscribe them from that list. Right. Right. Because my appointment list, I only want that list full of people who I, who, who are not clients yet. And that's just me personally, mm -hmm. because if I can see a list of 300 people on a, on an appointment list, I can then go and broadcast something to that list and, and know that those 300 people that are on the, on the quote unquote appointment list, I can know that those people are not clients mm -hmm. because my automation would have took care of that. The moment you become a client is the automation kicks in and unsubscribes you from that list automatically. Right. So reason number two to put everybody through my Kartra calendar is number one, you're on a list. And then and then um, number reason number one. And then and then reason number two is um, is is you get the confirmation you get once you book, once you yeah. schedule the call, you get the booking reminder and then you get the one the, the, the email reminder one hour before our call. So I like that. I like that little confirmation, that booking confirmation. Hey, hey, Dominic, yeah. your schedule, your freaking call is scheduled, right? That it makes your business look a little bit more legit rather than just trying to schedule you on my Google calendar or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So everybody goes through my cart, your calendar. Um, and then, and then that's kind of all you'll be working with, man. So X out of this part right here and then click on, click on my integrations real quick. So yeah, X out, click on my communications or excuse me, my integrations, my integrations on the left. So my integrations and what you'll want to eventually um, integrate over here is you already did the cart mail. So that's perfect. You'll want to also integrate your, your, um, do you ever use Google calendar? Yeah. 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 I, I would recommend using it for sure. For in this case, I would for sure still recommend using it. So right here, you, you would integrate your Google calendar. The reason why I use Google, go ahead and let's integrate it. Go ahead and integrate it. Awesome. Okay. Now, as we go and set up your calendar, okay, as we go and set up your calendar, in the, in the My Calendar settings, you'll now sync it with your Google Calendar. That's super, super important. And the reason why I do that is because when someone schedules a call with me on Kartra, when they schedule an appointment with me from, from my Kartra calendar, they'll get a booking confirmation email right away. Right. So whenever you book with me on my calendar, you get that confirmation email right away. And then you get that second one an hour before. And that 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 second email reminder that can come whenever I can send that two hours before our call, one hour a day, a day before our call, whatever you can. You can set that up. But I, I just have mine one hour before our call. But when the prospect or when anybody schedules on my Kartra calendar, they'll get those two email reminders and they'll have the ability to add it to their Google Calendar or whatever Outlook, whatever calendar they use. They'll have the ability to, to add it. But on my end, I'll get a notification. So when you when you book on my calendar, I get a book, I get a I get an email reminder right away. Hey, Dominic just scheduled a call. So the moment you schedule a call, I get that email notification. But I don't get a notification 
when our call is about to happen. Hmm. Right. So you get a you get an email reminder. I have mine set for one hour. So one hour before our call, you'll get an email saying, Hey, call and zoom in one hour. Right. Mm -hmm. You get that, but I don't. With Google Calendar, you can set that up. You can set up the notification. So in the Google Calendar, you can get a notification five minutes before the call, one minute before the call, 10 minutes before the call. You can set it up in Google. So me, as I'm working, I'll have my Google Calendar open in another tab. And then I'll have also my Google Calendar app on my cell phone. Because yeah. it's Google that will give me a notification when that up and coming appointment's coming up. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So now, right. So, so with point. you, I have yeah. mine set up every 15 minutes or, or 15 minutes before. So, so today, 15 minutes before our call today, I'll get a notification on my cell phone because of my Google calendar. Yeah. I wouldn't have got that with Kartra. Okay. So Kartra doesn't send a notification before your yeah. call to you. Okay. Right. So that's why I use cart. That's why I use Google calendar. Right. Um, they do. If I, if I didn't use Google Calendar for those notifications, and that's the only reason why I use it, for the notifications. Mm -hmm. If I didn't use it for the notifications, then what I would do is I would have to come in here to Kartra, click on my calendars, click on agenda at the top, and then I can just see a list of all my calls for the day. But mm -hmm. again, it would be right here. So mm -hmm. I would just, well, let me share my screen. Let me show you mine. So as I have my calendars over here to the left, I would then have to come over here and just leave it right here and just see all my up and coming appointments. But all I can do is see it. I don't get a notification five minutes before 9 a.m. Right. But I do on Google. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I have it synced because all these calls I'd be have to, I'd have to micromanage this shit and look at this damn thing all damn day when it's like, dude, I ain't got time for that. Just, just beat me. You know what I mean? Freaking yeah. hit me up on my freaking phone. Like just notify me. Yeah. But, but Kartra doesn't do that part yet. And that's why we, I leverage, you know, Google calendar. So every appointment that happens on my, on my Kartra calendar, it just syncs and, and lands on my Google calendar. So you come over here to my Kartra calendar, you schedule a call and then boom, it automatically syncs. It takes like maybe 60 seconds. The moment that call is booked on my Kartra calendar, within 60 seconds, that, mm -hmm. that, that um, uh, appointment is synced over here on my Google calendar. Right. So, so let me stop sharing. So then um, that's the only part that we'll have to, we'll have to work on next time, or you can, or you can go through it yourself and set up the calendar. But, um, but there's, I have a ton of videos on that. And then also, okay. what you wanna yeah, you mind send me those. So yeah, for sure. And then, and then where there's a ton of information also is, is click on that. So, so let me give you this rundown real quick. The, my communications, my pages, my forms, my hmm. videos, my calendar those okay. five things my communications my pages my forms my videos my calendars that's kind of all you'll be at those top five tabs to the left that's it you really okay. don't need anything else right now like at all at all my memberships you don't really need my products you actually you know what my products yes because what i would do with if i were you is i would whenever you charge a client like that's why with my integrations go back to my integrations on the left what you'll eventually want to do over here is set up your Stripe. So uh, do you have a Stripe account? Uh, no, I don't. No. Okay. So Stripe <clears throat> is what's going to allow you to accept credit cards. Now, you can do that through PayPal as well. You can integrate PayPal for sure as well. But you might as well have a Stripe account as well because not everybody wants to go through PayPal. Not everybody goes through PayPal um, at all. But everybody will give you a credit card. Mm -hmm. So Stripe is, is one of the most most popular online merchants for people taking online payments is Stripe. And that's just a, a simple merchant account and it's free. And all you do is um, every credit card merchant account charges per transaction. So they don't charge to have the account. They just charge per transaction. Mm -hmm. So every, everyone's the same. They all range from 2.5% to 2.9% of the actual transaction amount. Okay. So every, every account's that way, every merchant account's that way. So, so every time I hit someone's credit card, I'm charged 2.9% every single time, but it is what it is. It's the cost of doing business. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, 
So Stripe, you can go to stripe.com and set up a set up your account, put everything under your business name, um, and then you'd integrate it over here. Okay. And then after cool. you, yeah. what's that? I said, cool, we got it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Stripe.com. And yeah. then once you set that up, you can go to my products and mm -hmm. that's when you would create the product. Thank so you. whatever you're, whatever you're servicing, whatever that product is, go and create the product. Mm -hmm. and, and, and all that's going to really do is allow you to set up a page mm -hmm. where, watch, let me, let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. So over here, I have, I just set up these new products over here. Cause I'm going to be my whole, I'm changing up my whole entire business plan and I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of other random shit. But, but for example, this one right here. So this is a product right here where I would, where I, where I'm going to be charging clients. Um, and, and they're going to be going through this page right here. So because I set up a product, right, because I set up a product, um, over here, I then tie, I then, I then tie that product to this actually where that page go. Let me go back to Actually, it's this one right here. Okay, so let me, this one is, where'd that one go? This one's no longer, and it's this one right here. Okay, so when I set up a product, I can then integrate or tie that product to this page. So when they come to this page, there, there's this new checkout. So right here, a person can just hit continue, and then they can check out. Mm -hmm. So, so that's my setting up my product. So yeah. what you can do is you can set up, set up, set up your actual product, right? Set up your actual product and then just tie it to a page. And that's where you process your, your client, you know, transactions. So mm -hmm. I take payments two different ways. One way I'll ask you for that credit card over the phone, right? Or over zoom. I, I don't do phone call for nothing. I do zoom for everything. So I'll take your credit card right here. Or what I do with you? What did I do with you? I actually sent you the link mm -hmm. and you, you checked out on your end. Yeah. So that's the second way. So I'll either take your credit card over Zoom right now or I'll send you the link and you can check out on your end. Mm -hmm. But I'd have to set up my product. I'd have to set up the product and, and, then, and then put it on a page yeah. to make that happen. Okay. Cool. You know? And this is a simple order, order page right here. Like I'm gonna send you this page too. Simple. You could just lay out your lay out your services, right? And then and then just just set up a product and name it whatever the hell you want and 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 have that one page. It's just one page. It's a one page order form. That's all it is. And and that's where you can onboard. That's how you can onboard your social media clients. Um, cool. You know, so a lot to learn, man. I don't want to overwhelm yeah, you with all yeah, this yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? But that's kind of a, a rundown of 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 what. I just sent you over and, and mm -hmm. I would highly suggest for what you're about to do, start with those templates. Okay. Go ahead and share your screen real quick. Yeah. Start, start with what I just got, what I just gave you, which was the email list, the email sequence, um, the pages, the form, mm -hmm. and then just set up a calendar. Okay. And then, and then again, at the very, very top, here's what you want to do real quick. Also bookmark this at the very, very top. So scroll to the top, to the top, to the top, right. On the on this Kartra, no, actually no, in the in the Kartra scroll, yeah, that little that little graduation hat right there. Mm -hmm. Click on that. You'll want to bookmark this page over here. Like over here, there's a bunch of video tutorials on every section within Kartra. Okay. So the Q and A replays, those are the calls that we do every Tuesday and Thursday, or that Kartra does every Tuesday and Thursday at um, at three p.m. Central, four p.m. Eastern. Oh, so okay. There's a replay oh, okay. of every call. Um, but then also to the left, index, moon base, deep mm -hmm. spaceship. Like if you just go through each one, there's little tutorials of every piece of Kartra. Oh, nice. So so you could just go in and, and get a little, you know, a little video of, of what the hell is what. Oh, okay. You know, so this is super, super powerful as well. But um, registering for the Q&A, click on that Q&A to the left, the Tuesday and Thursday. Just register for that real quick. Where are you at? To the bottom left. Attend the Kartra Q&A. So that Q&A right there. Yeah, oh, that okay. one. Yeah, click on that. Right. And just oh, register. Yeah, I already, yeah, I already registered. For that. Oh, did you? Okay, cool. So yeah. then you're good. You're good. So so I got I got one that I do every Tuesday, every Monday and Wednesday, 4 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Central. 
um, every Monday, Wednesday on the same Zoom link. And then Karcher, they do one every every Tuesday and Thursday at the same time yeah. on their link. So they'll email you the actual link for that. Okay. But but I always tell people, man, Facebook ads or whatever ad and Kartra. That's all we need. Yeah. That's all we need. Um, the ads, the front end, this entire Kartra platform is, is the back end. Did you join the Facebook group already? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. cool, man. Cool, cool. Okay. So cool. um, try to work with some of that, man, and then, and then jump on some of these calls this week. Um, it's just this part that we need to knock out, get, and, and again, use the template, just keep it simple and just maybe change out the color, change out the words. Um, and then, and then, and then let's get this part up and going this week. And that way we can, we can, um, actually, you know what, go back to Carter real quick. Let me just show you how to tie the link, how to tie your link, because this is what we're going to need for our next call. Okay. Our next call, go to my pages. Our next call, we're going to need to, to start create, we're going to be in the ads manager. We're going to go back to Facebook and we're going to start creating custom audiences around all these links. Okay. So what you'll want to do is click on the three dots, click on anyone, go to get code or link. Mm -hmm. And this is where you would add your domain. So get the page link, hit the pencil to the right. And then you'll see your drop down to the left. So hit the drop oh, down okay. and there goes your domain. Okay. So you'll just go with your domain for every page and then you'll edit that R7E590, mm -hmm. get rid of that. So whatever that one page is, go ahead and name it right there, mm. right? Step one, step two, step three, or landing pages or freaking email automation or whatever the hell, whatever okay. that page is. Okay, well, yeah, I'll go through that before yeah. we- uh... yeah. Because that link, that link is what we'll need for Facebook. Facebook, right. We'll go create a bunch of custom audiences, a custom audience of everyone who lands on the opt-in page, but didn't opt in. Mm -hmm. A custom audience of everyone who lands on the thank you page. Those are our leads, mm -hmm. right? So, so that's going to be our next call is creating, is creating custom audiences mm -hmm. and our custom conversion. Okay. Okay. All so right. and, and so so to do that, all you'll need to do is just is just you don't even have to have all the pages edited and changed out. You just just make sure you go into each page and and name it, name it like this. Choose hit the drop down, okay. choose your domain, and name the damn thing. Mm -hmm. That's okay. gonna be the most important for our next call. Okay, cool, cool. I got. It. All right, D. Anything <laughs> else, bro? No, no, man. I'm good. I appreciate. It. I got enough. <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah, exactly, man. So we'll take it step by step, bro. And I know how it could be to be anxious to to run ads, but this is the most time consuming part, the back end. Mm -hmm. And and once we knock this out, it, it becomes a machine. You don't right. ever have ever have to really do this again. Like just knock it all out one time, and then only thing you'll ever really add to is your email sequence, right? You'll want to take the nine to eventually nineteen emails one day, eventually. But that will happen over time. Um, but once you get all this up and going, man, it's a machine and you just keep feeding it ads, man. And, and people just keep coming into your funnel. Oh, so really? this is just the most important that happens to be the most time consuming. Yeah. And, and sometimes, you know, we want to be, we're anxious and want to get it up and going now, but sometimes it might take a little longer. And it's just this back end part. So yeah, That's okay. Monday through Thursday, bro, jump on some of these calls with me, Monday through Thursday. Um, okay. You're going to learn a ton. Even if you don't have any questions, you just sit there and just learn what the hell we're doing. You'll mm -hmm. pick it up fast. Okay, cool. Cool. All, All right, right, D. Hit me All up right. for the next call, man. Let's get this thing going. All right. Talk okay, to you. Man. okay, late. Yeah.